What is up, guys? How are you? Good to see you. JD here, the real JD squad. Aw, yeah. If you have not subscribed yet, please make sure you hit the button below and turn on notifications by hitting the little bell. That's right. That way we can all be friends and we can get together all the time. That's right. Anyway, today actually is about the Edge 820 by Garmin. As you guys probably know, I'm getting ready to go on a bike trip. So what we're going to do is an unboxing just for you guys. This is a GPS. I'm JD and I'm going on a bike ride. So I need a GPS. And get ready, because we are unboxing the Edge 820. Ah. Okay, what is up, guys? Like I said, in the beginning, we are unboxing this. So, Philbrick Sports in Dover, New Hampshire. If you get a chance to check them out, they are awesome. They will help you and answer any questions you have. You can get your bikes, you can get your snowboards, you can get your skis, you can get your skates. That's right, they do hockey too. So, anyway, we got this from Philbrick. So, check them out. They're awesome and they'll help you out. So, anyway, let's go ahead and open this bad boy up just for you guys. Here we go. Okay. Ooh, pops open. Pop, 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 pop. <gasps> <laughs> oh, it's really slender actually. It's really tiny. Look at this. Oh, it's so small. Here is a quarter. Put it right next to it. Look at that. That's so small. I kind of like that. Hopefully I don't lose it. Oh my God. Let's go ahead and see what else we got in this thing. It's just, yeah, we don't need that. Wait, we've got the clips. This looks like for the bicycle. This actually uh, clips on to your frame and then you actually, it wraps around it and then you use an Allen wrench and you tighten it down so it doesn't slide all over the place. And then you have this part that actually connects to the bottom of the Garmin so that you can view it. Because if you can't view the screen, then what's the point of even having one, right? It's also got rubber bands so that it can be held on uh, and not fall off. So that's cool. We've got more rubber bands here. We've got a lot of rubber bands and different connectors here. So I can actually probably connect it another way besides that. So that's cool. So we got a bunch of rubber bands. Oh, we need that. A little charging cable. That's right. So the charge life on this, let's check out the instructions and see. I'm going to open. Let's see what we got. Ah. <gasps> important nope don't need that quick start manual okay let's check it out that wraps around the bike like i told you guys look it wraps around it that's what i'm going to need to do because i can't use this one because the frame of my bike is way too big so i'm going to go ahead and do this as you guys can see so that i can use this and see it on my bicycle range brightness gps all the good stuff sensors uh this is basically the same manual that i've seen before this is super cool all right well garmin all right the instructions are uh, pretty cool. Anyway, from what I understand, this thing has about a 15 hour lifespan. So yeah, anyway, 15 hours is fantastic because I'm gonna be riding for like five, six or seven. Has Bluetooth, also connects to Strava, which is huge, Strava, Strava, uh, which is a riding app, which keeps track of all your stuff. You can race people, you can do different uh, different roads basically all over the place. So. That's what we got going on with that. Oh, Joe, let's just take that off and we'll stick it to the windshield and uh, let's start this old bad boy up. <gasps> oh, yeah. That's cool. <laughs> I'm gonna take a drink of soda. Mm. Oh, it's so good. Uh, side note too, you do have to register this online at, uh, I believe it's GarminConnect.com and I will check that and make sure for you guys, but I will put it in the section below so you can click the link if you need to register yours. And uh, yeah, it's loading the map, so that's great. And let's just find out. While that's loading, I'm going to go ahead and grab some of these pieces here. We're going to connect them. We're not going to connect them up, but this piece right here is pretty cool. So this connects up to the back like this, actually this way, jump nope, this way, I was right. and. Ah, snaps on so you're asking what is that well after you do that you then depending on the width you have a small rubber band and then it looks like we have a, a larger rubber band so these are pretty uh okay that's not a big one that's a bigger one oh you have two different size rubber bands here so this one and uh, this one they look almost the same but they're not this one's bigger so I'm gonna need to use this one so what you're gonna do is you're gonna loop it around as you guys can see like that, loop it down underneath the bike and then you're gonna hook it up on the other side so that that way it holds tight. All right, let's go ahead and set this bad boy up. Now I don't, I think this is, is a touch screen. Oh, it is a touch screen. Oh, it's a touch screen. Oh my God. This is amazing. All right, as you guys can see here, touch screen, I'm a male. I'm not gonna tell you how much I weigh cause I'm heavy. Oh, that's my birthday, just kidding. All right, check mark, boom, you go to the next one. How tall are you? I am five foot 11. <laughs> uh, what does it say now? Untrained, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say that I am fair. I'm gonna say that I'm fair. 
All right, and the next one says connect sensors. Uh, I'm gonna say no, I don't have any sensors. This one doesn't come with sensors. So you can actually hook up sensors to this, which is like your heart rate monitor, which is like a different bunch of different things um, to your bike. So this one doesn't come with any of those. All I need this for is literally GPS. Uh, connect Bluetooth, I'm gonna connect my Bluetooth now. All right, so give me one second so I can connect my Bluetooth on the phone that I'm recording on right now so I can show you guys. Ah. What we have to do now is we've gotta to go to our phone and we've gotta find, so we gotta to go to settings, we gotta to go to Bluetooth, and we have to find that BT Edge, oh, select BT Edge 820, just kidding. All right, so uh, I don't, oh, BT, there it is. That's the one we want, BT Edge 820. All right, let's connect to that one, which is the, oh, pairing request, pair it, connected. Boom, look at that, now we're connected. Sweet. Cool. To complete connection, open the Garmin Connection mobile app on your phone. All right, so now I've got to download the mobile Garmin app. Hope Garmin Connect mobile app. There it is. I had it and I cannot download it without Wi-Fi. So I gotta go connect to Wi-Fi. We are downloaded the app. Bam, Garmin Connect. Now, let's open it up. All right, we're back. Set up your Garmin device in a few short steps. Perfect. Just select which one I have, so I'll browse all compatible devices. I will then go to the Edge, and this is the Edge 820, or the, boom, right there. That looks like mine. All right, except it doesn't have, does it have color the screen? Does it really? <gasps> Ooh, it might be in color. Let's start pairing. All right, we're gonna select it. Perfect. All right, we're gonna pair. Nice. Connected. Now, what do we got here? Anything different? Set up, act, look at that. Perfect. So when it connects here, you know you're connected because it lets you know. Pair them. You set up your profile. Train. All right, we're not gonna delete any of that. We just did, okay. All right. All right, so a cool little thing just happened to me right here. I got a message. So messages pop up on here when it is connected to your phone via Bluetooth, so that's pretty neat. Uh, so we can go ahead and get out of that. We are gonna go into here. Message from mom. That is actually really cool, I like that. So we get messages, text messages, if it's connected via Bluetooth on here so that you don't kill your battery, you can keep it in your backpack or you can keep it in your pouch or wherever, you don't have to have it on. You can actually get your text messages right here. Slide it down just like a cell phone, so that's cool. All right, so we're gonna go navigation. And it says courses, search tool, addresses, saved locations. So let's go addresses. Look at that, just come up again. Message from mom. You can enter, what state of province is the address? Let's, this could be a second, I gotta type in. Build my big fingers here. Okay, take two, here we go. 198 Wilson Street, I looked up businesses. All right, there we go. Wilson Lane, Wilson Street right here. So we're gonna click on it. So it's got your map open, so this is great. And then all you gotta do is tap ride. My fingers don't work well. And there you go. And it says, this route may take a long time to calculate, consider adding via points. So on that note, you can add, it's calculating right now, it's for you. So it's only gonna show you places that you can go with your bicycle. So it gives you the percentage that it's completing. It's gonna take a while because it is a longer route. It's about, I think, 13 or 1400 miles. So once you do that, you put this on your bicycle and you're off to the races. Follow up video is going to be right after I use this, after we get the pedal assist on and everything else and go. So we're gonna take a long trip with all this stuff and it's gonna be great, can't wait. I'm excited for you guys to see it. But if you guys haven't yet, please again, subscribe to the YouTube page. Make sure you turn your notifications on by hitting the bell, that bell right there. It's right next to the subscribe button. Follow us on Twitter, follow us on Instagram, and like us on Facebook because we're posting all our videos everywhere across the United States and the web, and it's gonna be crazy. Events and adventures, the real JD squad. JD, love you guys, have a good night. We'll see you later. 820 Edge Garmin, awesome.